Hello my loves, welcome back to Lavender. Today I wanna do a little more casual video. I'm sitting on the floor because I feel more casual here. And I just wanted to talk about things you should not take for granted in your 20s. I'm 29 this year. I just turned 29 in October. So this is the year that I'm turning 30 and I'm just enjoying this last year of my 20s, riding the wave, aging with grace, all of that good stuff. And you know, time is something that you can never get back. Time is so valuable. And so I guess I want to share some things that you should appreciate while you're young. If you're 20, if you're in your teens or whatever, it actually, no matter what age, you are I think any of these things could apply to you but I kind of had the idea for this video thinking back on this past decade and what I would have told my 20 year old self the first thing to not take for granted is your health Obviously, when you are young, you're more capable, you have more energy, more stamina, just better health without even trying. And that seems pretty obvious, but you don't actually realize it until you start getting a little older into your late 20s, 30s, and you have friends in your 40s maybe, and you start to see how people's like life choices accumulate to the point where their health is like not good you know you can't just like eat junk food every day you can't do the things that you used to be able to do without consequences and something that i don't get to share often on my youtube is my personal journey with wilson my boyfriend his health is not so great and if you want more details i have a whole podcast on it and he's also really private and he doesn't want me to share a lot of the journey but it is like in our own personal life it's like a health Thing every day and you just take for granted the times when you were younger and you didn't have to worry about things like this the irony is when you're young you have better health and you have a lot of time and those are more valuable than you think but you don't have money so you might have all these dreams and you're like I don't have the money to do what I want to do and you feel a little restricted and in your mind you're like I can't wait till the day I make enough money so that I can do this and the bittersweet slash sad part is I've seen like friends be able to make money and like later in their life they have the money that part is set but then their health is not good and then they're not able to travel they're not able to do certain things in life that they could have done when they were young they couldn't live so carefree or pain-free and it's just the irony of life I guess but also a reminder to take care of yourself, take care of your body, because it really is the best investment you can make in yourself for the long term. The next thing you should actually learn to appreciate is the fact that you don't have everything figured out. I remember in my early 20s, I was so frustrated that I didn't have the step-by-step -step guide to life. I didn't have my life figured out. I didn't know how to be that successful woman I wanted to be. And that just killed me. And I couldn't enjoy my college years because of these like anxieties and worries about the future looking back it's actually a good thing that you don't have things figured out it's really exciting because that means that your options are open the opportunities are endless and that just means it's time for you to go explore and discover yourself learn what you love learn about the things that make you come alive and that is just a really fulfilling journey to be on so it's okay to not have everything figured out because if you did have everything everything figured out then you just be like okay I know what I have to do and I just have to get to work but if you don't have anything figured out then that gives you the opportunity to explore all the different doors and I feel like the most magical moments come into our lives in those weird phases when we are challenged and just figuring things out open to any possibilities the third thing to not take for granted is that you have less burdens and less responsibilities when you are in your 20s sure this is the time when you are starting to build up like responsibilities and stuff because you're out of college and you might be in debt as well but still like those are the years where you're more free than if you know the few years after that i think the older you get the more responsibilities start to pile on the more obligations and burdens and what that means for you is more freedom to take risks with your life so if you have less 
people counting on you, like no mouths to feed, no house to pay for yet, then you have just more freedom to take bigger risks. And you should take the biggest risks while you are young. That is a piece of life advice I got when I was in college and it's one of the best pieces of advice I've ever gotten to remind yourself to take risks while you're young because if you take a risk, then you have a chance at a greater reward. If you play it safe and never take any risks, then your life is just gonna stay within the same level. You know, you might not reach your fullest potential. So because you have less burdens and responsibilities, use that to your advantage. Take more risks because honestly, you have less to lose. The fourth thing I already alluded to, but you have more time. And time is really the most valuable, valuable, what's the word I'm looking for? Commodity? because it's something that can never be bought it's something that you can't get back once you've lost it or spent it so you have more time and you should utilize that time to figure out what you want who you want to become what life you want to create for yourself in your 20s you really have the rest of your life to figure this out and create this i mean you can honestly start any age you can start at age 50 to create your dream life but just think of how much more you can do, how much more you can dream when you are young. All the opportunities are endless and that is really exciting. Number five, because you have more time, you should definitely start investing early. I started investing at 26 and I wish I started earlier. I wish I started in college. I wish I learned about compounding interest and the value of investing early because honestly, time grows your money. And I made a video about investing and how to get started in the card here and down below, but this is me explaining compound interest. Compounding just means when you earn interest on interest on interest on interest, imagine you invest $100 and it gives you like a return of 6% a year. So in one year, you'll have $106. So what you do is you reinvest the earnings that you made. So you have $106, you invest that at 6% a year. And then after another year, you have $112.36, which is a bigger number to start with. And then you invest that at 6% and 6% again on and on and on until your money grows exponentially like this. Like it really is math. <laughs> Basically, you make your money work for you without you actually putting in any like physical work. So that is called passive income and passive income is awesome. You're like making money while you're sleeping and living your daily life. Your money is just growing itself because of what you've invested in. Honestly, compounding is magical and if you are young time is on your side obviously if you have credit card debts or anything like that pay off your debts first before you start investing I talk about all of those like preliminary things to think about in that video but it's a good time to start learning about compounding it's a good time to learn about investing it's a good time to learn and be financially literate once you learn and understand how it works you will be able to save and make so much more money with this knowledge the sixth thing to not take for granted is your ability to travel and see the world while you are young. Don't wait until you are older and have money to travel because you can make it happen. You can make it work now even if you have to do it on a budget or even not travel to a very far away place but somewhere closer. Just see the world, go on adventures, have fun because when you are young, like it will always be enriching to see a new place, learn about new cultures, meet new people. You will never regret traveling because it's really something that will change your life for the better. It's magical to travel when you're young because number one, you have so much energy. Number two, everything is so exciting to you. You see everything with fresh eyes and it's so much more enjoyable. There are so many things you can enjoy in your 20s when you travel. And I am just going to say this, that I've experienced traveling super low budget in college when I studied abroad. I did like backpacking through different countries, living in hostels, like just with one backpack for like 10 days in like different countries. And it was so cheap. We would eat McDonald's every day, but I had so much fun. And that is such a unique experience that I think more people should have, not necessarily like backpacking, but just like, you know, traveling, seeing the world when you're young on a budget. Even if you have no money, you make it work. And on on the flip side, I've also experienced super bougie five-star hotel or resort type traveling, like really luxurious stuff. And that is fun too, but it's a different kind of fun. And I definitely feel like you want to be able to have like the variety of experiences of travel. Because if you wait till you have money when you travel, for example, like now at age 29, my friends are in this age range where we will spend more money for comfort and we're not going to 
to like be dirty or grimy. There's a certain kind of fun when you're broke and your friends are broke and you just like make adventures together versus when you're a little bit older, everyone's standards have gone up and so you have a different type of travel experience. Honestly, if you ask me now to camp in the desert or stay in a hostel or travel through Europe with just one backpack, like I would not do that. I have standards, I need AC, I want my own personal space. And like, although that's a part of like growing up and your standards are leveling up because you make more money and whatever, I'm so grateful for those experiences I had in my early 20s. And I think it's such a waste when people just put off their vacation or travel plans because they're like, oh, I'll travel later after I get promoted after I make more money, blah, blah, blah. And it's just, you know, don't waste time. Just have fun, enjoy it. Because each experience throughout all the ages of your life are fun, fulfilling, and valuable. Another thing you should not take for granted in your 20s are your friends. So I noticed that when you graduate college, there are a couple years when you try to keep in touch with the people that were your friends and then you might meet new friends through work or through mutual friends. But I just noticed that year after year, as you get older, if you don't make a constant effort, your friend group really dwindles down. Your social life becomes like quieter and quieter and quieter, especially if you're an introvert like me and you don't really feel like texting people all the time or going out every weekend. It really starts to get quieter in your late 20s. 20s and then your friends start having babies, they get married, people move on with their lives, they're very focused on their career or whatnot, and you realize that if you care about someone and you want them in your life, you have to make an effort to stay connected, to see them, to talk to them, to just keep them in your life. It takes effort, guys. When you're in school, it takes no effort because your friend's right there next to you, they're in your class, they're, they live next door, and now it's like you have to like travel long long distances to see friends. I feel like my friends are scattered throughout LA and also all over the world, so I don't get to see people as often. I see people like once a month or once a year for some of my friends. I just reunited with a friend who lives in China that I haven't seen since graduation like eight years ago. So things like that, right? And I also want to remind you that it is never too late to reconnect with people that you care about. It's never too late to rekindle an old friendship. like. It's okay, you know, people drift apart and then if you really care about them, you might want to check in and see how they're doing and it's okay to like, you know, it's not awkward. Don't make it awkward and just because you drifted apart doesn't mean it could stay like that forever. Your friends are what you make of them. The next thing to not take for granted that might apply to most of you, and I understand not some of you, is to spend more time with your parents. Spend time getting to know your parents. And I feel like the relationship with your parents, like by the time you're like in your teens, you're just like sick of it and you wanna get out and live your life. And then in your 20s, you start to realize that your parents are getting older and you start to realize that you might not have as much time with them just depending on how old your parents are or how healthy they are. And that is something that is a harsh reality that we all have to face. As we get older, our parents get older. And so you are essentially running out of time to get to know who they actually are. I noticed that in my 20s was when the, I started to see my parents as human beings to see their flaws and to learn to accept them unconditionally for their flaws, put myself in their shoes and start to understand how they felt when they you know, gave birth to me, when they were raising me when they were young because I am now at that age. And that is kind of crazy. You start to have more empathy for them and you're more mature about the situation. I realize a lot of people don't even have like real deep meaningful conversations with their parents. It's all like short one word answers and like not really deep. And something that you might be missing out on is getting to know your parents' life story. You know, how was their childhood? How was growing up? What were their struggles? And these are questions that you can ask them while they're alive. And if they're not here anymore, as sad as that might sound, like you don't get to know those things because, you know, there wasn't social media back then. You can't like just read their blog post or whatever. I'll be honest with you, at this age, all I see on my Facebook feed are engagements, 
baby photos or death of like family or loved ones. That is all I see on Facebook. It's kind of sad, but those are like the big life moments. And so, you know, year after year, you see people pass and you see people go and you just realize that, man, life is short. Live your life the way you want to. And also like, you know, tell the people you love, you love them, get to know them, learn their stories, just spend time with them. You know, I know it's like a little sad, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> the last thing to not take for granted in your 20s is your zeal and excitement for life. Not to say that you can't have zeal or excitement at any age in your life, but when you're in your 20s, you are just so fresh-faced and you are ready to do something. You have so much energy to change the world. And I notice a lot of like young people are just really progressive and just really excited to like make a positive impact. And I think that is so important and so essential essential and the thing about when you're young and inexperienced although you have all this energy you might also feel that people don't take you as seriously or you might doubt yourself you might feel like oh I'm not good enough to express my ideas or express my opinion yet I need to like have more experience in order to do this but it's not true like you have a voice and you can start making change at any age you don't have to prove yourself you don't have to have like experience and then do it just do it because the truth is like the world needs people with energy and zeal people that want to change the world and it is kind of true from what i've seen that when people get older they lose their energy just because they get tired or maybe they get jaded and there's something that tints that pure naive energy that you had when you were just like oh my god i'm so excited and <laughs> I for sure was more energetic back then to do really random things, to say yes to any opportunity that came my way, to just like work hard and prove myself. And I think it's just part of the cycle of life. You're young, energetic, naive, and you make mistakes, but when you're older, you're tired, you go slower, but you're wiser and more experienced, and you see the world in a more well-rounded view. I feel like I'm talking like an old person when I really am not. I still feel very young. I'm still 29, and I know that there are so many more years of like learning and growing, but you know, a decade is a significant amount of time so for me at 20 to me now has been completely like black and white but yeah I hope that this video was interesting to you and I hope that you just live your best life just make the most of all the time you have now because to be morbid we are all dying everyone is dying it's not just the people who are sick that are dying like you and I are dying each day because we are getting older, we're getting closer to death and that's not a bad thing, that's like life, that's natural and it's normal. It's just a way to remind you that time is something so valuable, it's something you can never get back, so don't waste any time living a life that you're not happy with, living a life that is not aligned to your authentic self, and all the things that we talk about on Lavendaire. Let me know what you'd add to this list in the comments down below. Sending you so much love. Bye. Today is October 21st, which is my birthday. Happy birthday. I'm officially 29 in China, and today we're doing a cooking class. We are at the market, gonna buy some spices.